has never before appeared in video. The third round of the Scottish Cup and Tynecastle Park in Edinburgh is crammed to capacity. At one point, the crowd swayed and jostled and finally spilled out onto the pitch, so the referee was forced to order the players into the dressing room. The police were at first powerless, but eventually shepherded the crowd into other parts of the terracing. Happily, nobody was injured. Players coming back on again to resume the play. They've been off for roughly nine minutes. Ball handled by Gemmell. Free kick to Hart. Kick to be taken by right winger Hamilton. Wallace jumping in his scores. Gamble handled the ball. Hamilton took the free kick. Willie Wallace scored. Hearts won, Celtic nil. Murdoch, Clark, Gamble, McBride, kicked away by Pollen, Clark, all completely open, he should score. <laughs> Referee Phillips rejecting Hart's claim that he was offside. There will go by all. 30 seconds after the Hearts goal, Celtic have equalised. Carrigan, Wallace. All to Hughes. Hughes chasing away from Pollen. Barry, who drove the ball in, and incidentally in the process knocked off a policeman's hat. Hughes throws to Alls. To corner. While hearts are beating fast on the terracing, uh, certainly as well as on the pitch. Excitement really is terrific. Clark. <laughs> Hamilton taking it with his left foot. Simpson was, and the ball driven into goal there by Anderson. For the second time, Hart scored with a headed goal. The first time it was from a free kick, this time from a corner. So, Hearts 2, Celtic 1. McNeil, Miller, McNeil, Johnston McNeil has gone right away down among the attackers, Chalmers, Barry, Chalmers, Johnston, 
Not down by Anderson. Murdoch. Higgins. Kerrigan. Celtic defender struggling to get back as one Gamble racing with Hamilton. Murdoch. All. Anderson. Hart's defensive system is working out extremely well. And in the second half, it's Hearts who kick off against Celtic, leading by two goals to one. Back to Miller. Hearts have had a very good first half indeed, despite the fact that they had this tiring match in midweek. Celtic haven't really found the sort of forward play we've seen from them in other matches this season. But let's see what happens in the second half because this really has been an exciting game between two excellent teams. Despite all the tensions on and off the field, we've only seen 10 fouls in the first half, so a very sporting match indeed. Colin, all McBride, Hughes, McBride, McBride trying again, Hughes, McBride, <laughs> equalizer by McBride. Three minutes gone in the second half. Hearts 2 and Celtic 2. Congratulations all round for Joe McBride. The game has been held up by all the spectators, the enthusiastic spectators get back off the pitch. Well, for five bob, you can't expect more excitement than this. All handled the ball, handled by Barry. A free kick in a very dangerous spot, just about five yards outside the penalty box. All took it quickly, but in doing so, he caught out Bobby Murdoch. He wasn't expecting it. Kerrigan. Celtic showing all the two true grit of real cup fighters. Hamilton. Simpson pulling it down. Hold. Chalmers on the left wing. It's Hamilton who tackled him, but the referee is giving a free kick. Gamble, I think, will take this. No, he's going to leave it to Hughes. And it jumped up there was McBride, Johnston. Chalmers finished that one off, I think. Almost being smothered in fans there. Johnston drove it, then I think finished off by Chalmers. Anyway, in all the confusion, the one thing certain is that Celtic have scored.
free kick to Hart that's Pollen Johnston this really has been a great fight back by Celtic Liddy now with 10 minutes gone in the second half by three goals to two. <laughs> Hamilton says he'll take the kick. Headed away by McNeil. It's Barry. Hamilton. Johnston, referee giving a foul. Number six is Miller. Simpson well out of his goal to make a bit of a diving save. Chalmers. McBride running through the middle. Shevlin to Cruikshank. Barry. McNeil. Murdoch. Johnston. To all. Johnston it's Anderson to Trainer. Anderson is zooming up among the forwards there realizing that all that counts now for Hearts must be an equalizing goal if they can get it Kirshney with Kerrigan Trainer Wallace Bacula there Hamilton Hearts three, Celtic three. Equaliser scored by outside right Johnny Hamilton from the outside left position with no Celtic defender within 10 yards.